And what are you arguing in the three corner war? Well, there are a couple of, of different arguments. Um, one is that this theater was quite important um, to the war overall, um, to both administrations in the Union and the Confederacy. That at the beginning of the war, they both the North and the South wanted the West, they wanted control over it, um, mostly for its gold and mm -hmm. its Pacific ports. And the Confederacy in particular needed those because already they were in financial crisis, they were right. suffering from the blockade, and so, you know, their, their westernmost border was Texas. Mm -hmm. And the only thing standing between Texas and California was New Mexico territory, which during this period, in, you know, encompassed what we now know of as both New Mexico and Arizona. So that was the reason they launched their campaign of invasion in the mm -hmm. summer of, of 1861. And of course the Union didn't want them to have any of that. <laughs> so they wanted to retain control. Um, and they also thought, you know, if, if they let the Confederacy take the far west, they would be surrounded functionally sure. um, by the Confederacy. And they would no longer have access to the gold or Pacific ports. And Double-edged sword, right? Yeah, so they did not want that to happen. And once the Union kind of successfully defended the West from this Confederate invasion, my other argument here is that the Civil War then became an Indian War oh. um, in this region. And you know, Ari Kelman has argued this in his Sand Creek book. He was sure. kind of one of the first ones to make this argument, although military historians of the Southwest have always integrated Native peoples into their accounts. They just haven't fully argued uh, that this was a goal of, um, of the campaigns. And so um, the book kind of moves from mostly a, a discussion of the Union Confederate engagements um, in this region with Native interference um, to uh, a more kind of finely grained account of those Union campaigns against Chiricahua Apaches in the South and Navajos in the North. So I'm really arguing for Civil War historians to be more expansive in their notions of where the Civil War take, took place, um, how long it lasted, and who was actually involved. Okay.